Hello, this is the pharmacist Robert speaking. Yeah, um, I, this, I got told you, Tech, this is embarrassing. I've had this rash growing for a little bit, and I don't know what to put on that's going to be safe. It's kind of in my, you know, general aerial area. Sorry. Okay. Um, I got to know. I understand what you're saying. Yeah, like, well, I keep, um, it, like I said, it keeps getting worse, and I try to put a uh, lotion on it. It just inflamed it even more. Okay, is this something that has, like, open sores or blisters or warts or anything like that? No warts, but it's just, like, it looks like just, like, an open, there's some open redness, and, um, yeah, there's no warts. It's just open, some, you know, burns a little bit. But there is some sores on it? Yeah. Some... Or is it more like, have you ever had athlete's foot? Yeah, it's just like that, but on the genital. Really? Okay, well then it's probably jock itch if that's the case, which is just like a red rash, but there's not any sores associated with it, but it's just like it gets on your foot, little maybe little bumps. Um, that would be jock itch, and you can get, uh, you can use clotrimazole cream over the counter for that. Oh, so that works? So yeah, it's just a fungal affection, just like on your on athlete's foot, if it's jock itch, which is what it sounds like. Okay, so you don't recommend cantaloupe? Cantaloupe, the fruit? Yeah, like I, I no. sometimes put it in there to soothe it. No. No, yeah, I would try the um, clotrimazole as long as there's no open sores or anything and see if you get relief from that. Um, if you feel that it's not that and then you and there is some open sores or some things like that, then it's starting to sound more like an STD, in which case you would need to go to the doctor for treatment. Oh, I hope that's not what it is. Yeah, hopefully it's just the jock itch because the glatrimazole cream works really good and that'll make it go away. Well, I didn't think cantaloupes carry STDs. I don't believe they do. Thanks for holding. How can I help you? Yeah, hi. Is this the pharmacist? Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm sorry. This is going to be a little embarrassing, but I'm in an excruciating amount of pain. I've had an erection for three hours and it's not going away. I took Viagra like three hours ago. Okay. And it's going on three hours, three and a half hours, and it's really hurting me. Is there anything I can right. use at home to get rid of this? Kick me in the jimmy! <laughs> no way. No, it might help. It may help to flush it out if you drink lots of fluids, but that's all, that's all it is. You don't have any medication to counteract that one. Can I stab it with a fork to get the blood out? Say it again? Can I stab it with a fork to get the blood out? No, no, you can't. Ugh. So should I have to go to the doctor's for this? Because it really hurts. You can, but how many milligrams are you taking? How many what? I'm sorry. Milligrams are you taking? Just took a uh, hundred milligrams. Okay, next time cut it into half. Cut it in it's half. Too strong. Yeah, it's just it's too tro strong for you. Yes. Was it dangerous to be hard for three hours? Um, it's just uncomfortable. Because I hit uh, it with the door walking out. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, you just have to... Is it your first time taking it? I'm jacking off. <laughs>